Wikino, I greet you all on behalf of my people, the Samaka, one of the six tribal people of Suriname. We are Afro-descendants who fought and won our freedom from slavery more than 250 years ago. We maintain autonomous community in the rainforest. Although you may not have ever heard about the Samaka, our ongoing fight for traditional land rights has set an international president for all these indigenous group gathered here today. I was born in the village of Tutubuka, known in Suriname as New Aurora. It's located at the mouth of the Tutu Creek before it gives its water to the mighty Suriname River. During my childhood, apart from attending primary school, all I knew was the vibrant rainforest around my community. The river, the creek, where I used to play, to fish and play with my brothers and friends. As a baby boy, my mother carried me on her back. And during planting and harvesting season, we walk hours through the forest to our Pandasikamia or farm where she cultivated organically grown rice, nappi, cassava, peanuts, and other fruits. We used to spend weeks at a time. And from very early age, I did my part clearing, weeding, planting, and harvesting. I remember the potent smell of the jumu tree and, and the sound of the kwai kwai birds and the kang kang birds. And the kwai kwai sound like kwai kwai yo, kwai kwai yo, And this kang kang bird is like a, a warning system when once approach the forest and they hang there on the top of the highest tree, then they start to warn the other one, something is coming, I don't know what that. They're like, dum, 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 dum. So that is um, this childhood years where I so memorable for me. With my mother teaching me the love for the forest, as precious part of the legacy she gave me for this, I dedicate this important moment to Sylvia, my mother, who left me three years ago. After completing primary school, my parents wanted me to continue high school in the city. Not all Samaka children has this opportunity to attend primary uh, secondary school, which is only possible in the capital city of Paramaribo. I had this opportunity because my father got a job in the city with Suralco. 
Sirolfo is a bauxite company who constructed a hydro dam, flooded half of my people territory, displacing more than 9,000 of my fellow Samaka. For me, it was difficult to adapt the city life. I miss the village, I miss the river, I miss the forest, I miss my friend, but I miss the Samaka way of life. You can imagine, my time at high school was rough. As I faced discrimination and prejudice, many students and teachers from the city treat Samaka like me as inferior bus negroes, corroding us our sense of identity with cruel stereotypes. But in a way, I am grateful for what I went to. It made me realize the importance of for Samaka young like me at the time to be self-confident and to be proud of our identity. This experience motivated me to start working with Samaka Young in the city of Paramaribo, who were dealing with the same challenges. I formed the group of Young Aurora. We started with football as core activity and then expanded to Samaka dance and music. We create an inspiring environment for young Samaka men and women, developing their self-confidence through sport, music, and dance, following the Samaka culture, traditional knowledge, wisdom, spirituality, and ways of life. This took place in a very difficult circumstances while an internal armed conflict was going on in Suriname. At that time, I got the chance, a position at the Ministry of Education where I was able to continue work with Samaka young people in the interior. That work helped me see how rich in nature our territory is. But now we have to, and how difficult we have to thrive there. From the beginning, we have been in a persistent fight. Our ancestors escaped from slave rebellion and found refuge in the rainforests. They spent nearly 100 years fighting for their freedom until the Dutch crown granted it with a peace treaty in 1762. After centuries of connection for to our ancestral wounds in the rainforest, we maintain a strong spiritual relationship to our territory. We've lived in harmony with the forest. Our forest is more than a source of subsistence. It's the foundation of our culture, our belief, our social system, and our cultural identity. When I was 31 years old, I witnessed the invasion of multinational 
who came to our territory doing logging, destroying our forest, polluting our drinking water, destroying our farm. As young, and I decided with other Samaka young to organize our people, to convince traditional leaders of 20 villages to organize themselves in the association of Samaka authority. So in 19, because in 1996, the government of Suriname granted much more concession to multinational to do logging and mining in our territory. Samaka were forbidden to hunt in their own forests, to live their normal life. This motivated us to take action. And with this young Samaka people, together with the traditional leaders, we organized more than 100 village meetings to awaken the sense of collective action. And it was the beginning of a 10-year struggle to secure our land rights. We prepared maps delimiting our ancestral lands and made four petitions to the government of Suriname. We met various state officials, including the Attorney General and ministers. But we felt that we couldn't get justice from Suriname. Given the negligence of the government, we decided to fight our fault on based on international human rights law. Because Suriname is a member of the Organization of American States. And international law is higher than national law. So when we feel like no justice in Suriname, then we move one step higher. So we move to the international system. In 2000, we filed a complaint with the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. The Commission looked at our case and they declared our case admissible. And because we need this admissibility to move further. And after admissible, we need to come with friendly settlement. The government of Zimbabwe was not willing to settle in a friendly way. And then we decided to ask the Com Commission of Human Rights to submit the case to the Inter-American Court on Human Rights based in Costa Rica. Finally, in 2007, the Inter-American Court ruled in our favor. They forced Suriname to legally recognize the rights of the Samaka people on their traditional land. But this is not only a victory of my people, it was a victory for all indigenous people across the America. You see, our case set a precedent in international law requiring governments throughout the region to seek for free, prior, and informed consent and share the benefit of economic development. To all of you who are struggling to defend the rainforest, and the rights of its people. 
Remember, remember this. As lonely as your work may feel at times, you are not alone. And a victory by one of us can be a victory for all of us. Bringing this case before the Inter-American Court of Human Rights was also a turning point of my own life. As I earned a law degree while helping to build this argument, I was once afraid to studying at the university because I didn't want to be alienated from my people, but I am now convinced that my university education was key to defending the rights of the Samaka people and to better amplifying their voices. Since the ruling of the Intermedical Court of Human Rights, I and the Rainforest warriors behind this case has not ceased to advocate for the rights of the Samaka people. For almost 60 years, we have been pushing the government of Suriname to implement the inter American ruling. This advocacy has been not easy as we have come up against powerful opposing interests. Concern for my personal safety led me in 2016 leave Suriname and live for the past seven years in Europe. Last year, I could return to living in Suriname. After almost seven years away from my country, my family, my people, I reconnect with my Samaka roots, with the forest and with Tutubuka. A few weeks ago, I went to visit our Pandasi Kamiyan, walking again the forest path I was travel on my mother's back. It was a beautiful, revitalizing walk. Through the forest, while smelling the jumu flowers, listening to the kwai kwai birds and the kanka who played the role of warning system. I always give the song, kwai kwai yo, and the kanka said, Kang, 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 kang. Someone is coming, watch out. I felt born again. The vibrant jungle, the creek, and the biodiversity remain unchanged. My determination to keep defending our ancestral land was renewed. I'm grateful also to have been able to reconnect with my good friend and partner, Head Captain Wanze Edwards, who is here with us today. He is the chairman of the Association of Samak Authorities, whose work was fundamental in organizing our people for the Inter-American Court case. He is the 16th generation of Head Captain in the village of Pikisi and carries with him the staff that has symbolized that authority since the peace treaty of 1762. Although I have speak, I have addressed you in my third language, English, he will speak to you in Samaka, the language of our people. Kapte Wazen, Ntakai Kwafisi.
Tago. Oh. Yes, I'm here. I'm waiting on the woman from here. He greets all of you. So, after so, Utada, Um Kumuye Tagi, Kisi Kudi Organizasi di Kao Kwaki, Utada Nwa Tami, Di Kadimbe Utao Kwaki Tide, Utaye De Fuba Fu, De De Kodate, Liki No, Ukude Tu, De Waso No, De. No, Hebe Uta Pegi Unu, Bo, Bo, Itanga Puse, Um Kumuye, Bo, Wadisa. To go it out, no offend the winning, and they back a me full offend the winning table. We got the girl of the debuta, the winner, the doubt, who they was negated. In the first place, I want to thank that ex Amazonia for this great opportunity to speak our truth and to be heard by the whole world. And he urge you to keep on fighting because he has heard all that you said and he wants to urge every one of you to keep fighting for our rainforest. He is not the only one who 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 is not the I'm to let out today that last seat that I found out what you know, who will meet him on. I'm to let out to Tammy Tinago no more, who that Taki could say, no, who sabi, and then I did for Gafu, till Tammy Tataki. We got Hebe of Fene, that the Fanodu, my found down for Aki, who ye they forgot too. Do us a menode. We see found witty, who baka, my do us a menode. No, move down for Seka Sulufu, Fasa Gobunu, move big galati. God, thank you for noon. We should not be afraid to speak our truth. He has heard what all of you said. And he sees that we have the same problems. We tribal people have the same problem. And we only have one goal and one dream. That is to secure and protect our rainforest. Because we are the rainforest and the rainforest is us. Thank you very much.